Oh, uh, look, you finished the episodes from Angels of Death? Yes, we've finished them, but there is one more that one more thing from this from this uh from this series that we need to play. And that is episode Eddie. Where the fuck are my glasses? Hold on. I mean Found them. Hold on. Okay, now, before I start this fucking game, let's make sure that the desktop audio is actually fucking on. Which it is. But you can never be too sure. Alright. I actually don't know how long this episode is, the spin-off. Um, where's my phone? What the fuck? Well, that is not what I was expecting. This one's... What am I witnessing? Um, anyway, just, just click new game. Arrow uh, keys, yeah, yeah, it's the same. Oh, reset is F5, alright. Satsuriko no Tenshi. Episode Eddie. Why did they make an episode around Eddie? I will never know. Hmm. For this grave, I'm thinking... One, two, buckle my shoe. Hey, isn't that... 3, 4, knock on the door. 5, 6, pick up stick. 7, 8, lay them straight. 9, 10, a big fat hen. Guys, come on, you always mess around. Hey, come on, finish the song. 11, 12, dig a big grave. Eddie, you still at it? I didn't see you play with us, big bro. What? No, I can't mess around. I have a grave to think about. You already tended to the graves for the night, though. I still got stuff to do. I'm thinking really hard about what kind of grave would be the best. You always take forever when it comes to grave stuff. A new grave? How will you make it? Tell me, show me. Well, that's the problem. I'm thinking about what kind of person is going into this grave. I forgot to ask Dad. And he's buying off... He's buying... He's off buying new stone for, for the graves. So I can't ask him now. Hey, like, really, who cares? I care! Hey Albert, do you know? 
Do you know who's going in this grave? Hey, Eddie. Albert. Hey. Shut up. How the hell should I know? Uh. Hey, Eddie. See, that's what you get for being Mr. Serious. I mean, like... Your eyes always get bloodshot when you think about graves. And you, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, it's good. So you get so weird, haha. Bro, sniff, wah. Hey, don't worry about it. Albert's just in a bit of a bad mood. Eddie. I've heard a bit about this great owner, so I can tell you a bit about her. Really? Thanks, Carl. I want to hear it too. I want to see it too. This grave's for a girl, a cute girl, a re still really small. Probably about George's age, I'd guess. Ah, uh, so she died really young, huh? Hmm, a cute little girl, a cute little girl. The gray space gotta be tall and thin, small and round, huge and round. Let's do small and round. Like her, a small cute little gravestone be nice, would be best. Hey. How'd this girl die anyway? They found her in the forest. Her corpse, that is. They think she'll probably, she'll probably fall off a cliff or something. Something like that. I didn't read it. Uh, someone saw her go into the forest. She was chasing after something, apparently. Chasing after something? She really loved cute things. That girl. So she was probably after an animal. Cool. Our family loves animals, too. We've got so many pets. I wonder if she got... caught up to it. I wonder if she caught up to it. I mean, it would be kind of sad if she hadn't. I know. A decoration. A forest animal one. So she can always play with it. Bear, unicorn, wolf. Let's do wolf. Seriously? Those are just as scary in books as in real life. Really? I thought she'd like a strong guardian. How about a bear? Real bears are kind of scary, but the ones in, children, in children's books are cute and kids love them. So tell me, what else did this girl like besides animals? What she liked? Um, well, it's not like I knew her. Ah, but she was always wearing dresses with various patterns. The day she died, she left the house in a dress with a red heart pattern. But when they found her body, she was banged up and so bloody. They thought she was wearing a plain dress, could hardly tell who she was. I see, but her burial dress is plain too. It doesn't sound like she'd like that. I know, I'll put a pattern on her grave. Stars, tomatoes, flowers. Let's do flowers. Eddie, come on, really? Come on. Like you can't just think, oh, this is a girl, just throw some flowers in there. Huh? You mean it's too obvious? No, no, I'm saying... You're never gonna get girls like that. That's not what I care about. Fine, fine, we'll go with another one. How about... Tomatoes. What? Eddie, you serious? What? What's wrong with tomatoes? They're really cute. Well, yeah, but... It's a big, you know, on the nose. 
They're round, shiny, and they turn bright red under the sunlight. Isn't that beautiful? You know, hearing you say that, I'm starting to get on board. Well, wow, awesome. I was watching. <laughs> it's all small, but really round. The tomato pattern is nice, too. This grape turned out really nice. Where's the tomato pattern? Oh. Oh, it, uh, the markings. Well, looks fine to me, I guess. Man, you really are good at this. Hehe. <laughs> Daddy! Sorry to keep you kids waiting. Take a good look. Good stone, huh? They really are. These will make grave great gravestones. Eddie, you can tell? Your dad's eye, qu eye for quality really came through, I tell ya. We're a gravekeeper family here. You need to learn to tell your prime stone for playing rocks. Especially you. You're the eldest. We need you making the right calls. <laughs> they, they all look the same to me. Oh, it's about time to get home. Don't you want your mother yelling at us? Come on, we're heading back. Wow, look at this. You made this, Albert? Daddy, daddy, Eddie did it. He made it super good. I provided a word or two of, of advice. I see. Eddie, you always see things from the dead's point of view when you work. I'm really proud of you. What we gravekeepers do is think of people's lives and deaths uh, as we make their graves. <laughs> Looks like Eddie's getting all the praise yet again. If only your brothers took a page out of your diligent book, I'll, I tell ya. Well, it's too late. It's too late out for you kids. Your mom's waiting. We're going home. Mommy, I want to see mommy. Let's go. Alright, we're tidying up before we go. Ooh, yes. Tidying up? Come on, I'm exhausted. Right, I should probably change this to... I'm only playing. Episode. There we go. Hey, Albert! Didn't put so much as a tool away. I thought he was doing sort of well today, too. Albert was kind of weird again, so I'll catch up to him. Hey, Carl, what are you... Good grief, those boys. Wow! I'm going home, too. I want to see Mommy. Wow! Oh boy. New George is too young to come to the grave at night. There's a butcher around? There is? Dad, you can go on ahead with George. I'll tidy up around here. I'm a little worried about Albert and Carl too. You're not going to be scared out here by yourself, Eddie. I'll be fine. I'm a gravekeeper's son. I love the graveyard. Right, right. Well, I'll leave it to you. Come on, George. We're going to see Mommy. Wow, thank you. I always find graveyards sort of like... Sort of like tranquil. Like they're pretty... Like chill places to be. Even at night. I used to live like literally in front of one. Thanks, Eddie. No problem. Your brothers really need a page or two from your book. Especially Albert. 
The eldest always inherits the graveyard tradition. Yeah, tradition. Well, thanks. I'm counting on you. Sure thing. Still. Still really hurt where Albert punched me. Well, gotta bring this pick and shovel back to the shed. Any gravekeeper worth his salt takes care of his tools. A shovel? Got pickaxe. Can I run? Yes, I can. A cross shaped headstone. A flat, simple gravestone. Did that say. Yeah, headstone. A well sculpted gravestone. An artistic gravestone with a sleck collar. Or. Did I say sleck or sleek? Sleek, I'm just blind. Okay. A blood stylish gravestone. An adorable gravestone. A small round barrel like gravestone with tomato pattern. A unique pointy gravestone. A heavy gravestone in classic shape. A cool grave with a black sheen. An old but durable headstone. Wait, my house is this way. The shed is the other way, right? What? Beautiful sculpted gravestone, okay. What's this? A large headstone with a... With an ethnic design. I gotta put these... Up in the shed out back. Phew! That about does it. And since I'm alone, I'll stop by there before I go home. The grave. It's only been a few days since I made it. I've got to check to see if the flowers are w wilted. Oh, that was just birds. Give me a scare there. It was such a beautiful song though. Just like our little bird. Was that? Was that actually? I come to the graveyard, graveyard at night a lot, and I'm really used to how spooky it is. That didn't even scare me, but I've never seen a ghost so close before. And I think it was a ghost of a girl. It looked like one, or maybe I was just imagining it. Hey, Eddie. The hell are you doing? Carl, what's wrong? Dad told me to come out and get you. How come? What happened with Albert? He just went right home and locked himself in his room. He's throwing a tantrum like usual, too. Hell, we're lucky he's hitting his stuff. Yeah. He's always been really sensitive. He's pretty, but he's been pretty bad lately. Hey man, you alright? Like Albert's been pretty rough on you recently, hasn't he? I'm... I'm fine, it's no big deal really. I mean, I'm sure Albert has a lot going on himself. Yeah? Well, here's hoping Albert will cheer up soon. Anyway, we're going home. Yeah. That ghostly girl. What was that all about? I wonder, will I get to see her again? Hey, hurry up, we'll get yelled at. Wait up, I'll be right there. Eddie, you were out so late, I was worried. I can't believe your father let you in the graveyard at this hour. I know you're a gravekeeper's son. You can't do that to a kid. But I love graves, so I was totally fine. 
I know you're pretty passionate about helping out, but... And not even seeing a ghost will scare me. Eddie. But today, near the shed, there was this girl in white. Eddie, I didn't want you getting out of sorts, too. I didn't want you getting out of so What? Oh, what? I don't know what that means. Let's go inside. Take off your mask. Okay. Mom was still pretty on edge. Oops. I kept my mask on all the way to my room. Even though mom told me not to. But you know. I like keeping this on even inside. How could I not? This is a great gravekeeper's uniform. Well. I'll just get yelled at. I'll just take it off. Phew. Oh, I forgot to take off my gloves too. Well, I can at least keep this part of, of the graveyard with me at home. But my gloves look like they're about to tear. I wonder if I can get a new pair. Mom, looked like she wasn't in the best mood, so I think I'll ask my dad. Yeah, he complimented me today too. Yeah, he'll give me a new pair. Wait, I went to explore. Ah, come on. Just going back. No, I want to go back. Thank you. Lots of books and papers. Scattered papers from my studies. A variety of scattered stone samples. Alright. Now I can go out. My oldest brother's room. There are holes. There are holes he's punched in the walls. What's up? She got out of her cage and she won't come down from the shelf. Yeah, she's not moving. Hey, come on down. See? She won't give me as much as a hoot. It's my second oldest brother's room. It's okay, come on down. <sighs> it's no use. Oh, woof. <laughs> that tickles. Good boy. You still sleeping? Come on, let's play. A variety of books about graves and gravestones are here. Hello there. Hey, she's being really quiet. Is she tired from her walk today? Here, mom and dad. Are they in the back? I just... I just don't understand what's going on with Albert. Don't worry so much. He's just... Yeah, maybe it's just a rough age, you know? That's not what he's acting like. He locks in himself in his room, lashes out at the drop of a hat, and all that screaming. He's being hurt. The family pets lately, too. He may be at a difficult age, but he just wasn't this kind of kid. 
Ah, oh, come on, don't cry. You got to keep it together. But Albert's our eld eldest son. What if he just gets worse? What if he took his own life? What then? In this family, it's tradition that the eldest son takes over. If you keep a close eye on him, you can keep the cycle going. And don't worry, the younger boys have it together, they'll be fine. And Albert... Well... He'll come around... He'll take over as a great, great gravekeeper. Eddie, how long have you been there? Uh... I just got here, what's wrong? Oh. Well, alright then. What do you need? Well, it's my gloves, they're about to tear apart. So... I was wondering if I could get a new pair. New gloves, huh? Well... You do help out the most around here. Really? Actually, come to think of it, I just happened to have some of Carl's gloves that got too small for him. Huh? Carl's gloves are hand-me-downs from Albert, but... Those two are lazy as can be. So the gloves are were still in great shape. There you go. You can just have Carl's old ones. In that case, I'd rather just keep using... Keep on using my own gloves. Eddie, how about you... Uh, let me mend your gloves for you. Could you, Mom? Cer I certainly could. Hmm. But these gloves are already too small for you, Eddie. I know. I'll mend them so you... Go ahead and give them to George. You really should take Carl's old gloves. That would be best. Okay. Well, I'll go and get the Carl the gloves from Carl then, and I'll give these gloves to George later. These fam, this family is not too blessed in the pockets, you know. We can't skimp on uh, pets and gravestones, and there's our traditions too. And I'm really proud of you, Eddie, because you understand all of that. <laughs> again, and me downs again. Even though they're always complimenting and praising me. Maybe I could ask again. Maybe not. Sounds like they're still talking about Albert in their room. It is kind of family tradition. No way around it. I get Carl's gloves from the tool room. And go talk to him. Cooking tools are here. Eating utensils and such are here. A large refrigerator is here. I love refrigerators. Bread for breakfast is here. It smells good. Hey, I know a game that costs a dollar. What is it? Oh, she, she's been required. She time for a walk today. These are Alberts, my oldest brothers. He's the one who always gets new stuff. Carl's are still really new looking. They'll be mine now. And mine will go to George. And then... The gloves. I better hang my mask up here properly. Okay. There we go. Now then, let me bring these gloves to Carl and ask him. Uh, there's a butcher around. Hold on. Let me see. There's a butcher around. There's a butcher around. It's 79p. How long is this game? It's 
It's like hide and seek. Hey, she's being really quiet. She's time for a walk today. Uh, do you, do you not want... These kind, these kind of small ones are George's. This mask, these gloves. You took such good care of them when they were mine. I was really attached to them. And one minute. Oh, it's one minute long. Hey, it's been really quiet. Okay, shut up. Hey, come on, not again. I'm busy. Bad dog. Sorry for yelling. I love you, okay? Pets. My whole family's got to take care of them. They're all treasures. All of our treasures. Oh. I've got to hurry over to Carl. Hey, Carl. Hmm? What? Dad told me to come get your gloves as a hand-me-down. Yeah, yours are pretty beat up. Sure, you can have them. Yeah. Mine are hand-me-downs from Albert, though. Still, we never do any work, so they're pretty untouched. Right, thanks. Mm. But hey. Like, I gotta wonder. Like, I'm fine with getting Albert's old stuff, but you take this really seriously. Doesn't get getting hand-me-downs kind of piss you off? Damn it, she just won't come down. Why did she fly up there in the first place? Albert was throwing a fit. Uh, in front of his room and knocked over the owl cage. Poor girl got, got away, but she's been so spooked since then. She just won't budge. What? That's awful. Our pets belong to all of us. How could you threaten one? Someone sure is a nice guy. Gotta say I agree, but... When I think about... How the house and all will end up. Albert's... It kind of makes me a lot less eager to take care of all these pets. That's... That's not right. The pets belong to the family. Not just one person. Eddie? Wah! Wah! What's wrong? George, what's the matter? What happened? The brown rabbit, she's dead. I thought she was just asleep. Then mommy and daddy came and said she was dead. Oh, she's been pretty weak lately, that rabbit. Eddie, think you can bury this one too? Of course, I'll take care of it right now in fact. You can do it tomorrow. It's late. Mom's not going to let you go out. Wow. I want to help too. Calm down. You'll just piss off Albert. Eddie. You get back to your room and keep quiet. And keep quiet too. I uh, hope you're still doing good. It could be better. I'm at work. Alone. It's storming outside. And it's dark. I can barely see. Also, she's keep hitting the windows. It's a great time. I mean, could be doing worse. <laughs> you could actually be under the rain. So, Eddie, you go back to your room and keep quiet. All right. Let me head back to my room. That rabbit, she was so delicate. I don't know, think about it. Ah, fuck it, I'll grab this game and... and see. Uh... Okay.
Okay. Where's my fucking phone? Um, it's only 79p, so it shouldn't be too bad. I can't find my phone. I found one phone. I can't find the other one. I can't find one of my phones. Where is that? Uh, I can't find it. I, where, where is my phone? I cannot find my phone. I, where is it? Usually it's like, I don't know, I'm afraid this one breaks. I cannot find my phone. Oh, I found it. What a fucking time. Cool. All right. Found it. Uh... Yeah, hold on. So I got this to get him now. Oh my god, in two days, Rush Duels are coming to Duel Links. I want to play that so badly. You know damn well I'm going to be streaming that. Um, Where do I want to check again? Right, this. Cool. Well. Shit. Well. All right, let me go turn off the light. Cool. All right, I'm back. Back for good now. Um. All right. That rabbit. She was so delicate. It's been really loud at home lately. She must have been stressed. Albert. 
just now. You were talking bad about me again, weren't you? Huh? I... I wasn't. I... Me? Talking bad about you? Ow! I... I was just saying it's wrong to threaten the animals. That's not talking bad about you. Shut up, I heard you. Said you, you didn't want any hand-me-downs. I... I... I bet you don't. Not you, the perfect little gravekeeper. You're always mocking me, aren't you? Think I can't do anything, don't you? No, I... I mean, I'm the oldest brother. But you can do everything better than me. And that's why you're always harping at me, isn't it? Because you know I can't do anything. Don't know anything. You're just mocking me. Everyone. Everyone needs to shut up. Dad, Mom, you guys. Even our pets do nothing but talk bad about me. But the animals wouldn't do something like that. Don't torment the pets like that. They belong to all of us. What? You never heard that everything in this house is gonna be mine? You ever think about how I, how I feel about... You ever think about how I feel having all this needy garbage around me? Hi again. Hi Choppa. How you doing? But the pets belong to all of us. They're not just one person's. That's so. Then... Shut up and take their punishment. For a while, every time Albert lost it, he would come and beat me up. My family, none of them knew. Albert, the eldest, Albert, the eldest, the hare, was already on the brink as it was. If, if the family found out, I knew he'd only get worse. And when he was beating me up, he left the rest of the family and, pet, and the pets alone. So, it just dawned on me. Nothing else could be done. That was that. Still really hurts. Where Albert kicked me. But if he won't hurt the animals, then I can just grit my teeth. He's the eldest, so he must be really stressed. I don't understand how he feels at all, but... How could he hate the idea of our pets becoming his? Good, that's good to hear. No, I'm going to bury the rabbit right now. I want to make their graves myself. Because unlike Albert, I love the little guys. And if I'm the one to bury them, I'm sure they'll be... Yeah, yeah. Let me go and get ready, then take her to the graveyard. There goes Albert again. He's just getting worse. Party won't get better either. Albert, he's just not normal anymore. I love working in the graveyards. So much more than he does, and yet... I've got to put my mask on when I'm doing grave work. Alright, here we go. I've got my shovel too. But all of these are just hand-me-downs from my brothers. And these will end up... And these will end up hand-me-downs to George. Alright, no dark thoughts. Not when I'm about to dig... No, I'm about to dig me a grave. Let me just hear myself on the stream real quick. The game is really... 
Oh my god, you can't even hear me. Well, you can actually. You, you can kind of hear me. Alright, chat, I'm gonna need your input on the audio because I have no idea. It's gonna turn down the desktop audio. TV. There's an old fashioned TV here. Not ready yet. Right, I need the rabbit. Now let's get going. I'll make sure you rest in peace. Got rabbit's corpse. It's dark out, but the weather's great. I know. I can make a great grave to the tonight. Time to hurry to the graveyard. You know, I really love the graveyard at night. I just feel so motivated all of a sudden. Like this time, this graveyard is all mine. Oh, I know. I'll pick some flowers. A brown rabbit, so yellow flowers would match perfectly. Alright, let's get picking. Oh, there they are. A grave that I've... A grave that I've thought up... Uh, that I've thought up... All for this little rabbit. Hehe. <laughs> Got yellow flowers. I think I should get some more yellow flowers. Uh, okay. Oh, there they are. I'm the one who will make her grave. I won't let anyone help. I just need a few more. I know I can make a better grave than either of my brothers. That should be enough. Off to the graveyard and back. Wait. I'm gonna see what's over here. It's pitch black in the forest back here. But I know the way. If you just move through the trees like this... Beautiful place, isn't it? Love it here. And this is where I'll make you a perfect grave. Not going to say anything? I wish I could have said that to you before you died. There, there. I'll make you a place where you can rest in peace. There are yellow flowers over there. That's where I'll bury you. Oh, I want to see these. Our goldfish grave. Our hamster's grave. Uh, Alright. I'll make your grave. Me and no one else. Why is the game lagging? Game? The game just... Alright. See? I love animals. This place I love. The gravekeeper pools I love. They will stop being mine. The family's pets, they won't end up, they won't end up hand-me-downs. They belong to all of us, and none of us. But yet, this moment is different. When I'm making the grave of a pet that's, de that's dead, then and only then, only then I think, Wait, was that? Yes, this is mine. Wait, did I see the... In the end, I got to make the grave to bury the pet I loved. So, her last moments... 
Her grave, too. It's all mine. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, huh? Huh? Whoa! Who are you? That ghost girl. Eh? Ghost? Where? Where? Uh, hey. I'm talking about you, you know. Me? Girl. Her name is just Girl. <laughs> ah, come on. I'm not a ghost. Oh, my throat. We showed up out of nowhere in the graveyard at night. That's ghostly. I... I guess it is. Sorry for scaring you, but... <laughs> I thought you were... I thought you were... A, I thought you were the ghost. Why? Well, it's that thing you're wearing. It's like something from Halloween. You know, that, pump, that pumpkin thing. Well, it isn't. This is my family's... A gravekeeper tradition. Gravekeeper? That's right. My family takes care of graves. Oh, well. Then... Ah, sorry for laughing. Game? Why is the game fucking lagging sometimes? It's so round and cute, I couldn't help it. <laughs> what a weird girl. Her clothes are almost are all messed up, and she isn't even wearing shoes. But her laugh is just so beautiful. I'm please sorry now I'll be right back or I have fun. Hey, I won't get in your way, so can I watch you dig this grave? Huh? Well... Wait, it's really late. Don't you have to go home? It's okay. I don't have anywhere to go home to. What? So, is it okay? If you keep it a secret... If you keep quiet about me making graves here, then... Then sure. As long as you just watch. Really? Don't worry, I'll keep it a secret. <laughs> Thanks. There we go. Wow, it came out so well. This case for a cute little rabbit who always perked her little ears up when she was happy. I really hope she likes her grades that I made for her. Did I just hear it? Yeah, I did. The little rabbit in there. He must have taken great care of her. I just know she's happy. You... you think so? Yeah, I know so. I think it's a great grave. Where she can rest in peace. <laughs> It's almost morning. Well, I'll get going. Game, please. Please stop. Wait. What's your name? Where do you live? That's a secret. 
but I'll be back when it's night again. Next time we meet, I want to make you... I want to see you make a grave again. See you later. I'm here at night all the time, okay? And my name's Eddie. Eddie Brock. Yeah, see you again, Eddie. She's gone. She just disappeared when the sun came up. That girl really is like a ghost. Shit. But for a ghost, those cuts and bruises sure look new. It's weird. Barefoot with tattered clothes. But she laughs a lot with a pretty voice. What a strange cute girl. I hope I get to see her again. I've got to get my uh, I've got to get back home before people wake up. What a strange boy that was. I've got to get back before anyone at home wakes up. Oh, so now I'm playing as her. Phew. Looks like he's not awake. Oh, she has an abusive father. Calling it now. Just go quietly up the stairs. Don't make a sound. Ah, um, it's not what you think. I was just going to the bath. Ow. But. Called it. I called it. She's just like me for real, for real. Y yes, sir. I will. I know an abuse when I see one from experience. It hurts. I never get to leave this room. All I did was go outside a little, so why? Why did... It's like I... Like I don't even exist. But that boy... He said, see you again. He did say see you again. I... I want to see him again. She started showing up at the graveyard at night. And I started going to the graveyard at night more and more myself. I was there for the graves, of course. But I started wanting to see that strange girl, too. Every time we meet, we talk a lot. I just talk about my gravestones and the graveyard in general, and yet she'd always laugh with that beautiful voice. I always enjoyed it. I wanted to treasure the time I had with her. Because being with her was just as wonderful as making my pet's graves. Even if bad things happened, I was fine with it.
The hand-me-downs, my, uh, the hand-me-downs, the family, Albert. I gripped my teeth through it all. There was nothing I could do, but it hurt a little. And when it hurt, I saw her. My heart would fill with joy. <sighs> because my time with her felt like it was hours, and hours alone. But every time I saw her, I wondered something. I mean, I haven't told her everything about myself either, but... I just don't know a thing about her. And how can I when she won't talk about herself at all? I hope this one gets an anime. This one is like a spin-off, but it hasn't gotten an anime on like the last game, on like the actual game. Hopefully this it does at some point. I wonder, will she be here tonight? I get I hope I get to learn a bit about her today. She just won't tell me anything about herself. And feels like she's getting a bit weaker every time. I wonder if she'll be here tonight. She will, right? I mean, we're always saying see you again, so... She's dead, calling it now. Though maybe that's a little later in the game. There's no one in the shed. Called it. What's wrong? Are you sleeping? Hey, you okay? Okay, no. <laughs> Did I scare you? Hey, come on, you really scared me. Sorry, sorry, I was just sleeping, really. But, your face is so pale, so... Eddie... You're really so nice. Huh? Take care of your house and family. You make beautiful graves for your dear pets. You even come on he you even come out here at night uh, to tend to the graves, right? And yet you were worried about me just now, even though I was just sleeping. You you take such good care of so much. See Eddie? You're really nice. Me? I'm just... just doing what anyone else would do. <laughs> but your face really is super pale. And those cuts, those bruises, there's more of them. Really? They're about the same. It's dark out here, so maybe it just looks like that. Hey, don't let anyone know, but I got a really great place. The breeze there is great, so if you wanted, we could go there now. Sure. I'd love to, let's go. We just go up this way in the back. Watch your feet. Oh. Uh, where? Oh, there's a staircase I didn't even notice. I thought it was just a wall. What is this place? If we go further in, it's really beautiful. So, what do you think? I like it, it's really beautiful here. So beautiful, I just want to stay here forever. Hey, how about we talk we talk here a little? Talk? Yeah, talk. You never talk about yourself, right? So I was hoping that today I could learn about you. I mean 
Not if you don't want to, I just, uh, just wanted to know your name at least. No? We're friends, so I wanted to know. It's not that. I just don't have anything to say. What? See me? It's like, I don't even exist. And if you don't exist, well, what can you talk about? Then, when you go home, where do you go? Not a place to call home, just a place I always have to go back to. What should I do? I don't even know. I'm sorry, Addy. Hey, you sure you're not a ghost or something? Hey, you sure you're not a ghost or something, right? Huh? Oh, no, uh, um... I didn't mean in a bad way, just, uh... <laughs> Hey, no need to laugh. You know, I might be better off as a ghost. Huh? What do you mean? Come on, don't laugh at me. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> that strange girl. Slightly sad. Before I knew it, she was all I could think about. But I didn't know a thing about her. Except for one thing I could see. There were always new cuts and bruises on her damaged skin. And she was getting weaker every time I saw her. She looked like she might fade away at any moment. I... I really couldn't help but feel like... I knew what was happening all too well. <sighs> like she doesn't exist, huh? Well, she exists to me. Maybe she doesn't see it that way. Does she have no one to belong to? Is that why she feels like that? But if so... If she's nobody and has no one, why is she so beat up all the time? I've got to hurry home. They find out I go out at night, I can't make pet graves anymore or see her. Why are the lights on in the house? Wait, is someone awake already? I gotta quietly put uh, my mask away and sneak back into my room. There we go. Now I just need to get back to my room and pretend to be asleep. Oh no, did someone wake up? I'm sorry to do this so early, but your mother's worried about you. Mom? You've been feeling... You haven't been feeling well lately, right? I'm so worried, wondering what you m might be going through. I don't know how your father keeps saying it'll be okay, like he's not even thinking about you. So I had to wonder if that was worrying you, making you feel anxious. Is the pressure, pressure of being the eldest a little bit too much for you? I know your father praises your brothers more, but... You don't need to worry about that. It's fine, you don't have to let it consume you. You have a good head on your shoulders. You have all sorts of talents. If push comes to shove, you can just forget about family tradition. Because your talents may be better off at work in something else. So listen, stop moping. 
if you try a little harder, uh, you, if you try harder, I know life will get better. Shut up. Shut up? Albert, you... When did you become a boy who'd say that to his own mother? I'm saying all this for your sake. What is wrong? I'm telling you, there might be another way. So you'll be fine because you're the oldest son. The eldest, the big brother. Have a little more confidence. You can be the kind of person your brothers are... You're the, you can be the kind of person your brothers are, your brothers are jealous of. <laughs> I'm not doing too well, but wise. No, you know, I'm sure they're already all jealous of you. Let me go make tea. <laughs> I haven't had tea in a few days. Let me go make one. Where's my glasses? Why is it that every time I fucking leave my seat, put the BRB on, the first thing I ask myself is, where the fuck are my glasses? Want to resume? Yeah. Uh, there they are. Also, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Alright. Cool. Alright, go. I'm sure they're already jealous of you. You're such a fine eldest son. All you have to do is be normal and that's it. So, think of how they'd feel if you lose it like this. Especially Eddie. Think about him. He loves the graveyard more than anyone and yet, you understand, right? So, come on. What you need to do is pull it together and pull it together to act normal. So just stop all this. Go back to the real you. Ah, shut up, shut up. There's nothing weird about me. Think about how Eddie feels. He doesn't have any pain in his life. He doesn't know. But none of you will shut up. You make him... Wait, you, him, everyone. All of you just mock me. Everyone talks bad about me. I know you all do. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Hey, do you have any idea how early it is? What are you yelling about? Albert, go back to sleep. And you're helping the graveyard? And you're helping in the graveyard today, understand? Albert. Why would you send him off like that? Stop spoiling the boy. You keep treating him like that. And he'll never... You keep treating him like that, and he'll never take over the business, right? A gravekeeper has to treasure... Those he buries. And make their gravestone with love and care. You need to treasure what, you, what you're given and protect it. That's our core value. Oh my god, my... Fucking model pisses me off sometimes. It's like... Immersion break. <laughs> yeah, just look how he's been acting. We need to teach him more harshly. What being a gravekeeper is all about. He doesn't have the capacity for that now. We just need to give him some confidence first. But you spoiling him won't help. It'll work out as long as we're strict. The eldest of the family has always taken over the business. He can get through this too. But... Good grief. If we're keeping this up, we're doing it inside. Mom's pretty stupid. <laughs> when did you become that kind of boy? That was so dumb. With Albert like that, he's not coming back. Dad's an idiot too. Albert probably can't pull off the gravekeeping Dad wants him to. I mean... I'm the one who fits that bill, right? Then why? 
Why is this all revolving around Albert? And they worry about me. And they worry about me. How bad for poor Eddie. If Albert gets any crazier. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if Albert loses it or not. It's all the same. I love being a gravekeeper. And I love making graves. But as long as Albert's around. I'll never get to take over the family. Murder him. It just doesn't matter how much I treasure or care for anything here. Because in the end, none of it will be mine. I hate getting beat up, but that fact, that fact, it just, it hurts so much more. Ugh, you know, I really, really want to make someone's grave right now. Please kill Albert, please. I beg of you, kill Albert. Yeah. It's only that moment that they become my treasures. And... Whenever I see her, I'm just so... So happy. After that day, Albert... Threw fits every night. He seemed to hate me a lot more than before, too. So his violence towards me... A secret to the rest of the family became much, much worse. Pain, physical and mental. My suffering continued. But what was worse than being... But what was worse than the beatings was how much harder it got to leave the house at night. She said, see you again, and I wanted to see her again. Because the time we promised to see each other was like a treasure belonging only to the two of us. I guess he's just punching the walls. Albert's really not going to get any better, is he? I want to finally go to the graveyard tonight. I haven't seen her in so long. I wonder if she's there. I feel really bad for making her for making her wait so long. Jump out the window or something, I don't know. He's quieted down. Did you go to sleep? I can leave now, right? Now then. What was that sound? It came from downstairs. Albert? I knew it. It has to be him. The pets are scared. They're gonna get sick from stress. And then, well, if they die, I can bury them, but... Getting sick just because of Albert? I didn't want that. That's why I let him, I let him hit me all this time. I'm going downstairs. Kill him. Just murder him. Stop it, Albert. What are you doing to the family's bird? Grab a knife. Grab a knife. Stab that motherfucker. Come on, quit it. If you're going to hit anyone, just hit me. Please, I'm begging you, just stop. The pets aren't only yours, Albert. You can't just do whatever you want with them. Come on, leave her alone. Ugh. She won't shut up. Just like you all. She keeps talking bad about me. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Shut your beak. Shut up, shut up. Shut your stupid beak. Quit it. Leave her alone. You keep hitting the cage. She'll... She'll die.
Ah. Uh. Oh no. Hey, what do you think you're doing in the middle of the night of the night like this? What? What have you done? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Calm down, boy. Get your ass over here. Ah, uh, Albert. Why why would you? Yeah. Eddie, back to your room now. I know. I should at least make her a grave. I want this Albert motherfucker to die. Back from playing Sayonara, good job. Welcome back. Poor little thing. Hi hi Chopper, how you doing? She's been beaten up. And her neck's broken. This is awful, just awful. Normally, when a pet dies, I'd feel sad. And just a little. And, uh, and just a little bit happy. In fact, I look forward to it. But tonight... I've got to bury her quickly. And then, just like always... This is weird, I just can't. Here I am in the graveyard, but I just can't feel excited. I, I should just hurry and make the grave, then I'd feel it. Sorry, I'm really out of sorts, huh? Totally forgot to pick you to pick you your flowers. But it's late tonight, and there's not much time, so I'll bury you first. I tried my ba- uh, I tried my best at making her a grave. I was diligent, like always. And yet... This grave is for... The bird that Albert up and killed on his own. Not mine. This bird's last moment... moments aren't mine. Not when she was killed by Albert. They were stolen from me. Her last moments... they were going to be mine and mine alone. I'm sorry, I... wanted to bury you as my own. Is it okay if I can say something? Fucking sure, why not? I know you would be happier that way too. Eddie, I'm telling you, grab a shotgun, grab a pickaxe, grab a knife, whatever the fuck. Just murder that motherfucker, right? I don't care if he's your brother, just, just fucking, just cut his head off. Alright, blow a hole in his chest, alright? That motherfucker doesn't deserve to live, alright? Why are you bad at rhythm games? I just am. Like, I barely play them, and I just have no sense of rhythm, really. Like, I... Like... I remember when my friend... When my... I had, like, a friend who wanted me to play Osu. And so I did. You should... You should see some of my scores. Like, they were god-awful. <laughs> but that can't happen. You're not mine. You're not even the families. 
You're... You're his. Taken away so... So horribly. So hideously. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Your last moments, they weren't peaceful. Eddie? That voice. What's wrong? Uh, well... Are you crying? So you were digging a grave? Yeah. Eddie, you always have so much fun when you make graves with such a gentle touch. So what's wrong today? Are you sad? When I'm making graves, it always felt like I was burying treasure, you know? But this bird, she... she was murdered. Worst of all, it was my brother who did it. Who didn't care about her. You mean... we'll make this grave then? No, I will. Because... I do just love making graves. I'm proudly... I'm proud of my work as a gravekeeper. Prouder than anyone else. Oh. Hey, mind if I watch? I wouldn't mind you here. But... Try not to look at my face too much, okay? Sure. It's done. You finished the grave? Yeah, but... I'm sorry. Because no matter how beautiful I make this grave stone... I can't help but think it's... I can't help but think it's not beautiful, not lovable. It just makes me want to apologize. Isn't that awful? Cheer up, Eddie. This ghost sounds really beautiful. Like, you made it just as lovingly as you always do. After being put into a grave, like, such a treasure. I'm just, I'm just sure that she, she has to be happy. Do we eat candy corn? We don't have that here. I actually never had it. We don't really have candy corn here, so I don't know. I, I know like people tend to hate on it, so, but I, I really don't know anything about it. I've never had it. Enough to make me jealous. Stop that. I don't want to hear that you think she was happy. If she isn't even mine, I'm sick of hand- I'm sick of hand-me-downs. And look at this. There's no way she was happy, buried like this. Not this hideously. Eddie. And you're jealous of what? When you- When you won't be mine either. When you- When you won't tell me anything about yourself. Of course you wouldn't. Because it's like you. Like you don't even exist, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I... Hey, those bruises. You didn't fall, right? Did someone do th something to you? Don't worry about it. And, I'm sorry, Ed Eddie. I was really insensitive, huh? Not at all. I'm the one who... I'm sorry. It's alright. I mean, it was all true. But, Eddie, what I said a while ago was all true, too. When I see the gentle care you take in making your graves, 
I really think the pets you bury in there are like treasure. And I really have to envy that. Because I probably can't become a treasure to anyone. That... That's not true. I might have been mean to you a minute ago. But you really have a beautiful voice. And you're really fun and kind. And, uh... uh well... I really like when I get to see you. So, uh... Well, uh... <laughs> Eddie, you really are a kind soul. You know, maybe everyone would be happiest if they became yours in the end. Huh? Kidding, kidding. Yeah, of course. Hey, Eddie. Hey, I want to know, if I end up a ghost, will you still say, see you again to me? Huh? I have to go now. But why? It's earlier than normal. It's alright, I'm just feeling a little sick, so I'm going home. Hey, um, those bruises, where did you get them? Eddie, see you again. Oh. See you again. Come back sometime, promise me. Everyone should become mine in the end, huh? See you again, Eddie. Man, I said something kind of weird today. I'd better hurry home. Everyone at home has started getting suspicious lately. Everyone at home? It's not just one person? Damn, you poor soul. My legs, my arms, they hurt so much. I'm just so hungry that my stomach kind of hurts. If I got too weak to move, I can't see Eddie anymore. I'm just... Lie down when I get back. Oh, she can run. That took some time. That took some time, but it's still dark. I should be fine. What was this? I think it's just like a, like a dumpster. Hey, there are some berries here. I wonder if I can eat them. I'll just pick a tiny bit. I have some. I'll just pick up a tiny bit and have some. I'd love to give some to Eddie. I'd love to give some to Eddie if they're tasty. Uh oh. Um. This isn't what it looks like. I was just, just a little hungry. I wasn't trying to mess up the flower gar. Gar? The flower gar? What's, what's a gar? I, I'm really sorry. God, this reminds me of my goddamn childhood. What the fuck happened here? No, it's Flower Garden? Oh. I guess the D-E-N was omitted from the word. I'm not sure why, but... I have a, f I have a really bad feeling. I wonder if she's alright. I'll see her again, won't I? Gotta get inside. Albert? Albert, that... 
That was horrible, what you did last night. Please, I'm begging you, just don't hurt our pets like that again. Then I'll take it all, all out on you instead. You have a sh Eddie, you have a shovel. Just just chop his head off. Just smack him around the head. When he's down, chop his head off. Just just dig into his neck. Alright? Alright, fine. Just leave them Alright, fine. Just leave them alone. Since that night, she stopped visiting. That was the beginning of days I just couldn't endure. Oh my god, that hurts the eyes. Ever since then, I felt like Albert truly went mad. He stopped going outside, he kept tormenting the pets, and when he did, I would take the abuse for them. The bruises under my clothes grew by the day. Yet, still, every day, I went to the graveyard. Yet, she never came. Even though I waited so long. I hated my brother so much, and the pain made it feel like I was the one going crazy. If I could get a glimpse of her, just spend some time with her. Just thinking that kept me going, kept me heading to the graveyard. No matter how much it hurts, no matter how bad the weather. But she never appeared. Not the next day, or day after. No matter how long I waited, she never showed up. Even though she said see you again. But I didn't see her, and my brother kept on robbing me of my days. When I was about to lose it in the depths of despair, I... I finally realized. It wasn't that she wouldn't come. It's not that she won't come. She probably just can't. She must be... In the same situation I am. No. She's just like that bird. What should I have done? The bird. The girl. Everyone. Everything. What should I... What should I have done? My awful bird just steals everything from me. Everything I care about. Well, murder him. I'm telling you. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. If I was you, I would have grabbed that shovel. I would have shoved his organs out of orbit. That didn't make any sense. I'm aware. Kind of want to redo that part, huh? Oh, well. In such a hideous way, with no love, no kindness. And worst of all, her last moments were stolen from me. It's so awful. This hopeless, hideous world filled with pain. What should I do? Tell me, what should I do? You know, maybe everyone would be happiest if they became yours in the end. Is... is that what I should do? 
for those I love. That would, that would make them happy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before there's, yeah, before they're stolen from me, I'll make sure to do them right. With these hands, right to their last moments. Wait. Eddie, why the hell are you smiling? What's wrong, Albert? It hurts so much every time you punch me. Why would I be smiling? You just won't stop mocking me, will you? Hey, Eddie. Albert, what are you doing to Eddie? <laughs> Nothing at all. Isn't that right, Albert? You... You stop that now. Stop laughing at me. So, Carl, need something? I need something? Eddie, you... You needed something from me, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, you know... How we have two cats? And one of them's kinda old and sleeps a bunch? Yeah? What about her? She's hardly been awake lately. And she's been a bit too old and she's a bit too old for surgery I feel so bad for her she's in so much pain hey dear it's about our cat I just can't bear to leave her like this you should think of euthanizing the poor girl So mom and dad were talking. You care the most about the pets, so I figured I'd tell you. And I realized, see, why are cats all sick and stuff? It's probably because Albert's been tormenting her. Of course. Thanks, Carl. I don't like this, though. Euthanizing the poor girl? I don't want that. Yeah, I don't want that. I can't have that. I can't. Hey man, I gotta ask, you sure you're okay? What do you mean? I mean, isn't Albert putting you in a pretty rough place? A rough place? What do you mean? If anyone's in a rough, in a rough place, isn't it Albert? Hey man, you really don't need to cover for Albert like that. I mean, Albert has to take on everything here, doesn't he? Even what he doesn't care about or treasure. Get it? That's why we can... We can do such mean, horrible things. He can do such mean, horrible things. That means that Albert and everything that becomes his will be hideous. Oh, me... Uh, do I have any left? Yes, no I don't. That means that Albert and everything that becomes his will be hideous. I'll be miserable. Incredibly miserable. Right? E Eddie? Albert's an idiot, you hear me? I feel bad for him. I know what's important to me, so I'm not in a rough place. Don't feel bad for me. Even our cat you told me about. I know how important she is to me. How dear she is to me. I can treasure what's important to me to the very end, with these gentle hands, me. I'll... I'll make her happy. I need to hurry to my cat. I won't give her to anyone, no one but me. Because... 
I can mourn for her in the best, most caring, most gentle, most beautiful way. I feel kind of weird. Like, this is scary, but also really fun. Like, my heart's beating faster and faster. It feels so exciting, spreading joy like this. Wait, I've got to dress up like a proper gravekeeper first. My mask! Albert doesn't go out anymore at all. So this mask just rotting here. Treasured and used by no one. It's so... so sad. So I... I'll... I'll take good care of it from now on. Alright, I'm all ready. I just know I'm the only one. I'll give her the best. The best resting place she could ask for. And don't worry, you'll get your turn. And when you're worn out, I'll tear you up so that no one can have you. It'll all be okay. All the pain, it's just going to go away. You won't be in such a sorry state anymore. You're going to finally be happy. So come, come with me. Got old cat. Now see, the weather is great today. It's a perfect day. Isn't that great? Huh? Did you fall asleep? Not yet, alright? You can't go dying on your own. Oh yeah. You really liked cold, breezy places, right? Just a little longer. Just hold on a little longer. Oh, you're up? Good girl. You couldn't have picked a better time to wake up for me. <laughs> I... I won't torment you like Albert did. You're dear to me, like a treasure, so I want to treasure you until your last moments. I just know I can take you to a place more wonderful than any other. A beautiful place with no pain or sadness. I love you, so... so... Rest in peace. No, I hate Eddie just as much. Wow. This is the right choice. Just look. This grave is so beautiful. And I'm so happy. And most of all, I know this cat's happy too. She's gone off to a beautiful place where she can't feel any more pain. And I'm so happy I was able to make you such a wonderful grave. Joy. Pure joy. For me, for you, for us. Yeah. Yeah. Before that hideous brother of mine steals them all away. I have to make graves for everyone. How about you make a grave for your own brother? How about that? Alright. I'll make graves for each and every one of you. No, you don't, you don't have to do that. You just need to kill your brother, you know? You're so small and agile. 
You're all brown too, kind of like us. I love you. You're always so energetic. And you love me so much, always licking me. I love you too. You never let me touch you, but I always loved how cool you were. You're so slender with those round little ears. So cute, I love you. You're all soft and fluffy, and your butt's adorable. I love you. You're tiny and snow white. And I love and I love snow, which means I love you. The water you're in is all the water you're in always looks so nice. I wish I could swim all the time. I love you. You must have been so scared of Albert. Oh, the humanity. I'll make you happy. You're always crying on the walls. And your skin's cool to touch. You're kind of scary, but I love you. And now, just like that, everyone that goes into my graves, all of them are happy as can be. Me and only me. Only I can make everyone happy. I've made graves since then, bit by bit, one by one. And they weren't stolen from me. Oh no, nothing so sad. I felt like I'm putting my dear little treasures into boxes of joy. Ah. Uh, I wonder why I realized why I didn't realize this earlier. If I just do this, even she'd. I wonder if I'll ever see her again. I want to see her again. I want to see her again, even if it's just once. Wait, was that her voice? Maybe I'm just imagining it. That reminds me, she asked... If I'd see you again, if she ended up a ghost. Could that mean... Wait, no. I feel it. She's here. Where? I'm controlling Eddie now. Oh! Ah! Hey! Hey! You're just sleeping, right? Wake up! It's me, Eddie. Please. Uh... Eddie? Yeah, it's me. Thank goodness. I managed to see you, Eddie. Hey, am I a... a ghost? Huh? What? No, you're not. You're... you're alive. And I got to see you again. Yeah, you're no ghost. Oh. You know, I thought I'd gone and died. But, well, if I'm still alive, then... Eddie, I want to go to that secret place of yours again. Sure, definitely. Let's go. There's... there's still time. Thank goodness. Weird. I can hardly stand. 
Don't worry, I'll hold you up. Are you sure, Eddie? I'm not too heavy. Don't worry, I have to move stone around a lot to, on the job. Watch your feet, okay? Let's take it slow. What was the secret place again? Uh, up here. Oh. While you were away, the cemetery got really nice. It did? Like hell, I can't wait. These graves. I made them all myself. Every one of them. They're graves for my dear pets. They're such dear treasures to me. So I treasure these graves just as much. That's amazing, Eddie. It's like these graves. They're all your treasure chests. Really? Of course. Just look at how cared for they are. The pets sleeping in them. You treasured them until the end, didn't you? They're all so happy, so radiant in there. I have to envy them. Hey, if you're curious about any of the graves, I'll tell you about them. Aw, thanks. This is our lizard's grave. You had a lizard too? Wasn't it scary? Just a little, but her skin was really cool when you touched it. And she was very small and cute. This is our dog's grave. She really loved me, and I loved her. Which is why I'm so happy I got to make her grave. And... I'm sure she's just as happy too. Yeah, I just know she's happy. This is our ferret's grave. He was really thin. This, but his eyes were so round, he was adorable. Wow, I wish I could have seen him. This is our owl's grave. She was really smart. But, it was really sad. She was always cowering because of my brother. But, she doesn't have to be scared anymore. She gets to be in such a happy grave forever. Wow. That does sound like a really wonderful place to be. This is such a sad grave. If only I'd made her happier earlier. I'm so sorry. This is for our fast little brown chinchilla. He was such a cute little guy. You know, he sounds kind of like you, Eddie. <laughs> I think so too. This is an old one, for a goldfish. It's the very first grave I made myself. Oh, so that's why this one is a little older than the others. This is an old one, for our hamster. He was just as small and round as this grave, and really cute. Wow, look at how tiny and round it is. Here lies a tiny snow white chinchilla. She was really elegant like snow. <laughs> so that's why this grave is a little artsy too. This is for our our really old cat. I made sure she didn't have a miserable death and gave her a happy burial. Oh, she must be such a happy cat. Remember the rabbit I told you about? He was really energetic, always with her cute little ears standing up. You've been really nice ever since we first met, Eddie. This is for our duck, who loved cool water. It's cool down here, down there too, so I'm sure she likes it. Wow, being in the grave sounds pretty comfortable. Now it's just making me envious. Oh, I want to be dead. This one's a rabbit too. She had this fluffy white little butt and she was really- you know, she was so cute. <laughs> I wish I could have pet her. 
This goes for our more aloof cat. She wouldn't usually let me touch her, but sometimes she'd she'd be cute and rub up on me. Really? You know, that sounds kind of nice. Alright, we've checked all the graves. Let's go to up here. Just make sure you don't trip. It's a little it's a little bit further. I will, thank you. Wow, I just I just love it here. Hey, let's go to a place with a better view. Uh lag. Hey. Yes, what is it, Eddie? Why won't you tell me anything? I was scared. Scared? After my parents died, another family took me in. But they didn't even want me breathing their air. They found me out of the storage room. They beat me. You know what I was in that house? You know what I was in that house? Something that didn't exist. So that's why I don't play I don't have a place to go home to. I'm unneeded. Some someone nobody wants. I just didn't want to say that. It's it's just miserable to say, you know. I was just too scared to say something so sad. I know how you feel. You just don't want to admit to yourself that your lot in life is really that sad. You too, Eddie? Yeah. See, we're a lot like each other. <laughs> we're both pretty weird, huh? You know, I wish I really did end up a ghost. Then I could go back to where I wanted. And when I say, see you again, and they forgot the quotes, better go by, have fun. And when I say see you again, I could mean it, coming back here whenever I pleased. You want to go back somewhere? Yeah. A place I could really go home to. Where I could just... Be. If only there was such a place. Instead I have to go back. Back to that house. Then... If you had someplace else... You wouldn't have to go back there. Right. If there were someplace else... Eddie? Uh, lag. Long bef before long, those people who don't even care about you, they're going to kill you. And then, you'll end up in a grave I don't even know- You'll end up in a grave I don't even know about. I can't stand the thought of that. I don't want that to happen. I don't. I don't. The thought of someone stealing you away in some awful way. And then going to someone else's grave. Like that bird. Don't show me that again. I didn't want to see that. Eddie. But don't worry, I've got it. I know a wonderful place. A place that'll accept you. If you're there. You will need to say see you again. You won't need to say it anymore. I'll take you to a place where I know you'll always be happy. So... Give me your last moments. Eddie. Yeah. 
you'll you'll always be my dear treasure. Feeling her grave will be here. Now, you'll be happy forever. Yeah, there was no better way. I mean, think about it. You couldn't ask for a happier grave, could you? I just have to put everything into your grave. Last moments and all. And if I do that... As long as these graves are here... As long as they keep standing... For all eternity. You'll all be mine. So you didn't kill Albert? I'm disappointed, Eddie. Albert didn't die. Zero out of ten. I'm disappointed, Eddie. This is why you're the worst character. Alright, well, uh, that was the game. Albert didn't die, so the game was terrible. Alright.